Hey everybody, this is episode 7, Camshaft Installation, Part 1. Um, I lost $400 off of watching a YouTube video. And I'm going to play the video so you can hear the audio. And never trust a YouTube video for an engine installation. You got to do all your research, but listen at late model restoration video on YouTube, one minute and 57 seconds in. To begin installation, locate the dowels that were included with your camshaft. The long dowel will be for 79 to 85 carbureted applications, and the shorter dowel will be for 86 to 95 for fuel injected applications. Since this will be for a fuel injected Okay, so my engine, pan over to the engine. My engine is a 1984 351 Windsor. It's carbureted. So if you hear what he just said, and you can play it back a million times, he said the long dowel will be 1979 to 1985 carbureted applications. That is incorrect. Hence, why I lost $400. I put the long dowel in, and guess what? I don't use the long dowel. I use a two-piece fuel pump eccentric. So, that video is totally incorrect. If you're a Ford guy, 289, 302, 351 Windsor, do not, do not watch that video. And also... At 2 minutes and 39 seconds of the same video of late model restoration camp Ford 302 camshaft installation, they don't tell you foot pounds or inch pounds, which means you can snap your bolts right up in, into your block. So there's two places they messed up in their video. Am I pissed off? I'm fucking pissed off. And late model restoration YouTube channel, edit your shit or fucking take your video down. It's that fucking simple. You cost me 400 fucking dollars and I'm fucking pissed off. But this video, I'm going to break it down simple, stupid for you. Every single Ford guy, 289, 302, 351 wins. Bring it over here. With the wrong pin installed. When you do your measurement, we're at 0 0.9, about 3.0, probably 0. 0.925. So, with the long pin, which is incorrect for my engine that I hammered into that camshaft, the protrusion is 0 0.925 after insertion. That tells me only 0 0.325 of the pin went into the camshaft. If I insert a short dowel, which I need to, what length of pin is left. So if I take the short dowel, not the 1.25, but the 1.125, and I know it'll hammer into the camshaft at 0 0.325, that leaves me at 0 0.800 in length. Now when I say camshaft gear pin length, the camshaft gear the pin length that it sits on is zero can you see that? 
zero point nine two five. Hence, I wrote it down. Camshaft gear pin length, 0.925. If I subtract the short dowel installation length from the camshaft gear pin length, okay, so if I, if I put the small pin into the camshaft, it's going to come out 0 0.800. However, the cavity of this is longer so it's 0 0.925 if I subtract that length 0 0.925 0 0.800 that will leave an excess which means the pin will be recessed it won't be flush it'll be recessed at 0 0.125 into the gear and that's funny Because the two-piece eccentric for a 1984 351 or two-piece eccentric for any year, any fucking year, you use the 1.125 pin because this tab has to sit in this hole. So when you bolt your camshaft eccentric onto the cam, the bolt through the eccentric into the front of the camshaft. This tab must be free to sit into the gear. Therefore, you cannot use the longer pin because the longer pin protrudes. So this two-piece eccentric would never, you can't put it in. It's that simple. I can't, uh, I can't break it down anymore. Uh, and the two-piece eccentric tab. According to this is 1.25. Sorry, 0 0.2. Why am I messing this up right now? It's pretty much saying 0 0.20 but either way you can't use a longer dowel pin and still get this tab to sit into the timing chain gear so here are the dowel pins which I'm actually angry about my cop cams new camshaft because I ruined the old one came with two dowel pins and both of them come on now both of them are 1.250 this shorter one that I need to use is 1.125 so this is a pin I have to use for the two-piece eccentric these two pins are nothing then come over here 
this is printed off of Comp Cam's website. So it says in 1972 and earlier engines, a longer 1.375, not the 1.25s that are in the box. Dell pin was used so that it would protrude through the one piece fuel pump eccentric. Not two piece, a one piece. The 1973 and later engines utilized a two-piece fuel eccentric, fuel pump eccentric, which required a shorter 1.125 dowel pin. If no eccentric is used, a thicker than standard retaining washer must be used to make up for the thickness of the eccentric. What that means is... Keep it simple, stupid. Two-piece fuel pump eccentric, use the 1.125 dowel pin. One-piece fuel pump eccentric, use the 1.37 dowel pin. No fuel pump eccentric, you can use a 1.125, a 1. Point, sorry, 1.125, 1.250, must add a washer to match diameter thickness if not using an eccentric. Possibly also 1.375 dowel with timing cover clearance. That means so nothing will hit a rub on the inside of the timing chain. So you take the timing chain eccentric if you need, if you're not going to use an eccentric, you got to measure the diameter of what the eccentric is because you need a washer to go onto the bolt. What do we got? Zero point zero. So with zero. Point zero seven zero washer. If you're not going to use an eccentric, so I did the measurement for you, and it's on video. So uh, covered, covered, covered. Okay, I'm going to make three videos on YouTube tonight. I'm going to upload this one. The next one, I'm going to be popping the pin in, the correct pin, and two-piece eccentric. I mean, punching the pin into the camshaft, and then installing the camshaft. After that, the next video after that will be episode 8. It'll be... Am I blinding the camera? Mm -mm. Episode 8 will be installing... The timing chain gears and timing chain. Sorry if I uh, use profanity, I just four hundred dollars. I'm sweating because it's like 78 degrees in North Carolina right now and I got a sweater on. However, I did all the research. I can't make a more simple, easy video for you. All the Ford guys out there, and I'm actually mad. Mr. Isaac Martin, Ford Windsor Small Block Performance, Mr. George Reed. Why you couldn't put this into your manuals, I have absolutely no fucking clue. But it's on the internet now, so I can't make it more simple stupid. I'm going to hold this up one last time. Just videotape it for a little bit. So if they need to zoom in on it, if they need to pause the video, if they need, whatever. 
I made it simple, stupid for you. So, hey, everybody, you guys all have a great weekend. Next video is, is just going to be maintenance. The next two videos is just going to be straight up maintenance. Just popping the pin in, popping the camshaft in, and being done with this shit. And fuck you late model restoration again for causing me 400 fucking dollars. Fucking bitches. Cut it.